Hello and welcome on this very, very, very miserable Sunday. It was cold this morning, very, very cold yesterday. And um, we have actually in the Midlands had a little bit of snow. It's all gone now. Um, it is raining as I speak. At, it's about two or three degrees outside, a bit foggy. I think inside with a cup of something, something is where you need to be. So give Barry your order. If you're new here, my name's Ashley and I, on this channel, Paper and Twine, I just dribble. I sometimes do a bit of paper crafting. Um, I sometimes talk about all things nitty. If you do like nitty things, I have recently started another channel called One Stitch After Another. And if you want to see me open my Sherry Iris Yarn Advent, which is beautiful head on over to one stitch after another and every day i read an extract sometimes very badly because i can't see um an extract from sherry iris's little tale of a dickensian yuletide in foxglove wood anyway what we're going to talk about here today in the intro you might have seen um some christmas lights and it was really sweet actually at the back end of the last week the end of November, my son said to me and my husband, would you and Pabs like to come on a double date with me and my girlfriend to Delapray Abbey? <clears throat> and Delapray Abbey is in Northamptonshire. Um, it's a historic building that has um, fallen into disrepair and is currently being renovated. Um, and Harry did actually go there and do a little bit of volunteering um, a week ago on Tuesday and found out that they were doing this winter wonderland, winter wonderland trail. It seems to be all the thing, doesn't it, these days? Um, lights at night. Um, so we said, yeah, because... I don't know about you, but we're older now. We don't go out much at the weekends. Um, tend to prefer to have people around and socialise at home. But it was so nice, even though I'd been at work that day, even though I'd been to see my mum and dad. It was so nice to go out and actually do something. Um, and yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. So I hope you enjoyed the little bit of footage of that. I haven't got the best camera. I don't have a camera per se. I just have my phone and it hasn't got the best camera for taking footage in the dark. But uh, I just thought I'd share that with you. I thought you might enjoy it. Now, I did have a little note somewhere on a little order. Um, yes, so that was Della Prey Abbey. Here is number three of our Bothy threads. Doesn't feel like there's any stitching in here today. Feels like it could be a coaster, you know. It's round and it's flat and I can feel some plastic rustling. So, yes, I want some stitching bothy threads. Let's have a little look. Oh, that, oh, that's sweet, actually. That is really nice for Christmas projects. So, we love to reuse where we can and this cute wooden thread organiser will help you keep your threads safe time and time again. Because I don't know about you, I used to buy the Lenate um, cardboard ones. I sounded very brummy then, didn't I? <laughs> um, you can reuse it for each design in our advent calendar as you work through them. Well, are we going to get a design, Bossy Threads, are we? Let's unwrap it. Actually, that is really cute. I do like that, do you? Yeah, it's nicely made. Nicely made. I have to see if I can get my husband to invest in something like a laser cutter. Yeah, I think it'd be very useful. Oh, mm, yes. Anyway, do you want to hear the joke of the day? Do you want to do joke of the day or do you want to do on this day in history? Let's do on this day in history. So I thought it would be quite a good thing or an interesting thing just to make my vlogs. Oh dear, I just banged my knee on my desk. Um, Just to make these vlogs a little bit different. Um, On this day in history, 1965, because that was the year I was born. So December the 3rd, 1965, the Beatles released an album. Now, what was it called? Oh, you know, Sergeant Pepper. Um, it was called Rubber Soul, and it was their sixth album. And not only did they release their sixth album in the United Kingdom, but they also went on a final UK concert tour in Glasgow, Scotland. Yes. And also on this day in history, 1965, the USSR launches Lunar B and it crashes on the moon. Yes, so shall we do joke now? Um, 
are. Oh dear. Do you wouldn't believe I've just been to the opticians and had an eye test. And I'm struggling to see. They said there wasn't much change in my prescription. I could I could change it, but it was up to me. Some of this type is really small. I can read the I can read the joke. I can't read the punchline. Anyway, here we go. Where do snowmen keep their savings? Oh, I think I might know the answer to this. I can't read it. Hold on. I've got this, which is a really useful little magnifier with a torch on it. Pete gave it me ages ago. And it's actually got a little stand. You can stand it up. I thought the answer would be in a snow bank, but no, it's not. It's, I wonder if you got this, it's in an ice. Uh, yeah. Hey ho, I hope Barry's looking after you. I need to uh, come up with a Barry update, don't I, for Advent? Oh, there's actually a blue light as well. Yes. Hmm. So, what can I tell you? Not a lot, really. I um had a oncology appointment and I told him that I was feeling very tired. I was all right. I haven't got any other symptoms because they would say, are you bleeding down below? Are you bloated? And I said, no. Well, I didn't tell him I'm bloated because I'm eating too much, but you know, I'm not bloated, bloated. Um, so bless him. It was a telephone appointment. It just said without any preamble, right. Um, we'll do some bloods, check your cancer markers. Um, and yeah, vitamin levels and all that because I have been in the past very very low vitamin D but I'm taking vitamin D alongside cod liver oil it's in like a combined tablet and I'm taking vitamin C um and I said we'll book you a CT scan as well so it put my mind at rest won't it I've been to the opticians um I did go out with some friends on Friday evening that I used to work with many years ago uh, one of them I do still work with at my current school, actually. Um, and it was just lovely to catch up. Didn't do any shopping. We are supposed to be going Christmas shopping. But um, we sat in John Lewis Cafe way after it closed, just chewing fat. And then we had about an hour to do some shopping before um, our table at Pizza Express. But that was really, really nice. And I had a third train yesterday. I went to see my mum and dad. Mum mum, bless her. I bought her an advent calendar and I bought my dad one as well. Like, oh. My mum, I just thought she's actually not going to be able to hold it or open it. So she's going to have real, she's going to have to have real help with that. And in fact, um, the calendars that I bought them, it was Maltesers reindeer one. We got given one from work. Um, all, all staff, whether teaching staff or admin staff or cleaning staff, whoever, all got... Um, an advent calendar and it's the same one and I've opened two of the windows I couldn't get the chocolates out I thought if you've got a real chocolate problem and you need that chocolate now I had to resort to using a um, double pointed knitting needle to get the chocolate out yeah, that's not very good is it no no anyway I think um that's probably enough of me whittling on today because it's already getting on um Looking forward to my dinner tonight. We're having venison sausage casserole that Harry is making, providing he can get the venison sausages from um, Asda. He's seen them. Yes. So it's a practice run for our Christmas Eve dinner. Mm. There is something else I'm going to show you, actually. I don't suppose you'll be watching because I haven't heard from her recently, but these are Sherry Secrecy's socks. So Kaz0518, if you're watching, yours are similar to this but in greys and bluey greys um, and it's a slightly different um, colour pattern and they'll be smaller because your feet are smaller than Sherry's but yes I've blocked those and they're wet and when they're dry they can go in the post. It's like a little hat isn't it? Anyway um, I've got to edit this and my other vlog and um, do some knitting. Oh, I'm excited. And um should be doing jobs around the house, really. Mr. Paper and Twine is he's been very productive. He's currently cleaning the coffee machine. I wanted a coffee, um, but I've got a pucker lemon and ginger tea. 
lemon ginger and manuka honey tea and i'm very good because these pocket tea bags aren't cheap i use them twice sometimes i use them three times so this is yesterday's tea bag in here and it is nice it is nice yeah so he's doing jobs um i'm shirking i i know i was going but are you ready for christmas i'm not i've normally got kids pajama christmas pajama bottoms by now they used to have like full pajama sets but they say these days oh can we just have the bottoms and you know wear a t-shirt or whatever on top and that suits me because it's a bit cheaper um I've normally got them by now. I've normally done most of their stockings by now. I have done nothing except for some, um, one of my family members, her kids, I've got them. So, yeah. Anyway, I think next, next week that might be a thing. If I can have the car one day, I might go and do some Christmas shopping and I'll take you with me. I might go to Market Harbour, maybe. Anyway, I am definitely going now because... It's rubbish. It is. It's rubbish. I hope whatever you're doing, you're safe, stay warm, and whatever you're doing, paper crafting, whatever, cooking, um, just watching because you like watching a mad old woman. Um, stay safe, and I'll be back tomorrow with something.